My name is Dr. Robert Puschendorf and we are currently sitting here at the La Selva Biological Station on the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica. We are in Costa Rica because Costa Rica has much more diversity than Europe. We're in the tropics. The tropics are absolutely packed with animals and plants and other organisms. And it's a great experience for students to experience basically what it is to work in a place with so much in it. And we try to figure out how we can actually do something about quantifying and managing these habitats. This is the second year field course uh, for conservation biology students where we're effectively applying lessons learned from the first year and a half of the degree in a real world conservation uh, scenario in one of the most biodiverse regions of the planet. And that then sets up the students excellently for their final year projects, which is an independent learning experience where again we're expecting students to go into the field and collect their own data and deliver their own independent analysis of a critical question in conservation biology. We're in Costa Rica to transform our lectures and really see everything we've been learning in action and understand the communities, ecosystems, organisms we've been learning about and, and then putting that all into practice for conservation. The environment's insane. There's so much biodiversity. Every day I'm seeing something new. There's like the leaves the size of people. Today we were lucky enough to see howler monkeys on the way to breakfast. Every day I walk out the door is just like a new surprise in store. It's one thing to learn in the classroom and at Plymouth we have amazing lecturers who you know, work in these contexts all the time and can tell the students about these amazing environments. But it's another to actually experience it yourself. So coming out here gives you that opportunity to see things firsthand. The lecturers are phenomenal. Not only so easy to get on with, but again, just so supportive, so knowledgeable. I'm constantly just amazed about how intelligent they are, but also how much they enjoy the subject. It's not that they, they know the facts, they enjoy the facts and they get excited about the subjects and they want us to be as excited as they are. One of the nice things that we get to do is that we get to take the students out on night walks where they can go down the path, you know, with their headlamps looking for snakes and amphibians and sleeping birds. The slower you go and the more that they look, I mean, they can really get a sense of how the forest changes from the daytime to the nighttime. It really drives home the point that the forest is an ecosystem that's alive. It's a great experience to have out in a unfamiliar environment to do perhaps techniques that you can't do in the lab and have some fun while you're doing it. It's just through experience that you learn. It's basically, we are here sitting at La Selva, we're right next to a classroom. Right now I'm at the edge of a primary rainforest. We can go, teach something, step out, test something, come back, bring it into the lab. It's a very hands-on degree, and you need to develop skills that are hands-on. And you really need to learn how you respond to the environment as well. And so it's a really good experience for them, a formative experience to later on be able to go out and if they want to do the same thing. 